Oh, goody. All right, what is going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and we're back with another Team Com video. This one is Dragons. Really been enjoying the Dragons since the new release. I have a few different builds I've been trying, but this build was actually not created by me. This was a build made by Yahweh, better known as Cold Snap on the Mercenaries Ladder. Really great player, and it is a sweet build. When I first saw it, I wasn't 100% sold on, on some of these equipments, but after playing it, it's just great. It's, it's a lot of fun, and it's very powerful. And it might be the best variant of the, uh, the new dragon builds that I've seen yet. I still like the six dragon build, but have a bit more refining to do on that one before I can really say it's where I want it to be. But this comp, it's all about Voon here. So you may notice our opener is actually three greens. Now you don't always open three greens, but I did it the majority of the time and it really worked out rather well. The reason we're running Voon here, as you may have seen from some other mercenaries creators, is this Dragon Rune Axe. It is a passive ability. I didn't even know this was a thing on Voon. After a friendly dragon attacks an enemy, deal 10 damage to the enemy. So, one, this crits, so that's 20 damage against a blue on top of all your other dragon attacks. It's just, this is such an insane ability. And a big part of why it's so good is Nefarian here. So, Nefarian swings in, hits him for the boon's ability, and Nefarian's attack. Then, the dragon gets summoned. The dragon hits in for 12, then it triggers Voon again. It's just, it's absurd. It's a, a very powerful combination. Now, I've really been liking the chromatic dragonflight equipment in a lot of my dragon builds, but spare parts really overperforms in this build. As we're making a fair amount of dragon tokens between uh, Nefarian here and Voon, that and they just keep dying so it kind of feeds our dragons and keeps them alive and healthy without actually having to use healing abilities all the time so it's really really cool and then our third opener here is actually Sinestra this is one that you can swap Sinestra out in certain matchups you want her on the bench and Yulon is usually the replacement I'd go with if you want an alternate lead we have the mana brooch on her as is tradition but Sinestra is actually a really great lead because you can basically kill Varden on turn one with this comp, pretty much. Because no matter, I believe no matter what they freeze with their Belinda Elemental, I think it's still enough damage to get through. So, really sick comp. Who had uh, Voon seeing play on their 2022 bingo card? Because it was certainly not me. This is another ability that's really nuts with all the dragon spawns. Uh, repeat for each dragon you control, so you're gonna have at least two other dragons out with Voon at all times, so that makes this a 30 damage ability. If it's critting, it's even higher, and then you can get even higher than that with the additional dragon summons. So, really sick open. On the bench here, we do have Yulon, Dragon Comp, MVP with Pearl of Yulon to keep your dragons nice and safe. Alex Straza, this is one that kind of surprised me but it actually was pretty decent. The equipment on here was one I definitely wouldn't have expected. Dragonflight Talisman, so Dragon Queen's Gambit restores health to this merc equal to the damage dealt. Apparently the reason for this is uh, kind of two things. One, this helps dealing with Sinestra, helps you uh, basically sustain a bit through the Sinestra while being able to kill it. And on top of it, uh, this is good against opponents uh, Opponent Sylvanas. This allows you to, you know, zap a big Sylvanas and then heal up so you hopefully won't have your whole board cleared by it. And Sylvanas has been seeing more play because of Kazakus. So definitely an interesting tech and it worked better than I thought. Uh, Dragon Breath, pretty decent, but Jade Flame or Flame Buffet is uh, really, really good with the Dragon Comps. Like, uh, it's a nice, solid AoE and it deals quite a bit of damage. So. Definitely have liked the Alex Straza inclusion. And then our last unit here, Long Jin, is running the Band of Bursting Novas. For this one, it is just self-explanatory. We have a lot of dragons. We're summoning a lot of dragons. So when Long Jin comes in at the end, he's going to have a crazy amount of arcane damage. 
and should just be able to help you finish up things in the late game. So that is going to be our comp here. Really enjoyed it. I'll have a link to uh, the original posting of it by Yahweh in the description over on Twitter. But before we get into the games, if you enjoyed the content, do remember to like and subscribe. Really does a ton to help out the channel and keeps the Mercs videos coming. So without further ado, let's get into the games. Necros, okay. I'm gonna plug in my phone real quick. Give me one sec. Raise up my desk to you. Ooh, they have a Deathwing skin. I'm jealous. Well, this is probably not very good for us, huh? <laughs> This is probably not very good for us. Because now if we swing, we get absolutely destroyed. Maybe we just hope they focus this. What a cool skin. <laughs> Stream sniper confirmed TBH. Uh, we had one of those earlier, which was quite annoying. I'm swinging with Neff, and I, I'll not swing with Sinestro. Alright, that worked out. Summon a dragon. Job done. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, we're gonna make the biggest nef possible. Man, I'm jealous of their Deathwing skin. I really want one. Oh, wow. Okay. Yulon? Probably. We're gonna get so wrecked now. <sighs> or do we just go for Longjin to just kill this? Because this is bad. Probably need to protect our dragons. I know, dragons have so much sustain. It's pretty crazy. They're probably just going to steal stats from us. So maybe we just pump the Elon. Yeah, isn't that Deathwing nice? I want l literally any Deathwing skin. Make me happy. 
I'm hoping we get one in the shop next week. I thought we'd get one this week, but we got Vandar and Drek'thar. Which I could live without. I bought the Drek'thar one though, because... I do like the skins. No, well, Sinestra's gonna get this AoE off. Probably just heal. They should heal this. Yeah, probably just heal and then... Yeah, the system is awful, Solus. I feel you. I opened a bunch of packs since release. No Anixia, no Deathwing. Yeah, this comp- this open would have a hard time with Valyra Frost. This is such a weird matchup, though. I mean, this is this is a cool game. It's very cool. I bet they have full dragons. It's the other three. It's gonna be Anixia, Longjin, and Sinestra as the bench, I think. Because you can win with you can beat Frost with that comp if you open Nefari and Sinestra Deathwing, but you need the attack. Yeah. Oh, look, they have a good Sinestra or Anixia skin too. Yeah, bringing it. They're getting money hungry because WoW isn't bringing the subs it once was. Wouldn't surprise me. They've really upped the uh, the ante on Hearthstone skins. There's so much to keep track of with these dragon decks, though. That's a huge mistake, bro. What are you doing? That is a very large mistake. Okay, we take those. We take those. Alex time? Or do we just... Maybe it's time for Long Jin. Kind of like Long Jin here, actually. Oh, but Alex can... Yeah, I actually prefer Alex. Alright, yep, this is good then. Like, we just... Yeah, do this. Oh, they're going to heal this. So maybe we should zap it. I'm kind of more worried about this than this, though. This has been a fun game. Yeah, I think so, too. Boom, we got him. We got him. They're, yeah, let's go. Wow, what a game. What a game. I thought we were so screwed. What a game. Holy moly, there is so much to keep track of. Yeah, that is, that is a sweet victory. Yeah, we were playing from behind early, but it worked out. Damn. That was fun. That was really fun. We'll run it back. That was super fun. I had no idea how that game was gonna 
And like I thought we were screwed in the beginning and then it really we turned it around. Alright, I've been going for three and a half hours already. Hey, it's Izzy's. Looks like he switched comps. Is he on? I don't know what he's on. Three reds is scaring me a little, though. They have a useful comp for dealing with the frost comp. It's a good question. Whoa, what is this? Taunts. That's cool. <laughs> well, this is pretty cool, I can't lie. I like that Izzy's is trying new things. Um, so I'm not the expert of uh, anti-frost comps. They exist. We do have some great players here in chat, though. So if anyone wants to give a recommendation as to what you like against frost... The unfortunate thing with Frost is sometimes to like beat Frost, y you still like end up playing partially Frost, which is very annoying. Okay. I mean, it kind of worked out for him, huh? Kind of worked out for him. I guess for you. Yeah, Sinestra did get deleted. I probably shouldn't have opened this into triple red, but... That's okay. Live and learn. These are big. Also, this is going to become giant. Like, this needs to die now. Like, this needs to die now. So we have to kill that. I guess we'd rather do it like this, and then we'll do this into that. Maybe I should have just summoned a dragon, actually. Oh no, they healed it! Okay, no, it's fine though, it's fine. Oh yeah, I could have just disabled the taunt. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm so used to this turning off stealth, not taunt. <laughs> we got down his, his taunty boy, though. Props to Izzy's for trying something fun. It's a cool... Mutanus, like... Mutanus, of all things. Let's try it like this. Tico. That worked out. Job done. All, the while. All right, now we need to kill this. Like, we just scale up. I don't want to give him a full nature swap in. We will swing as well to just stack our sixes. Job done. He 
Yeah, Mutanus and Cario seem like paid actors. <laughs> Damn. It's working. <laughs> These 12k games look odd, yeah. We're running into some memes. Is there a certain order you like, Yahweh? For the, uh, the starting line here? Maybe... Voon in the middle, so the summon? Or, no, Voon here for the summon? For Shadow Flame? Put dragons together for Shadow Flame. Otherwise, nope. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, so blue chain for for Nefarian. You would want to grind the first bounty of the new bounties because that one gives uh, Nefarian coins. However, the uh, Undead Anixia is good too. That one gives you Kazakus, Anixia, and Deathwing coins. But if you want to go for Nefarian, you want bounty number one. It's just as easy though. Like if you have Fire Comp or Nature can probably get it done too. Interesting opener. Hard matchup, I generally target lock. Okay. I guess we'll hit Jaina so we guarantee hit the lock. So, we lose Sin, but that dies to bleed on turn one. And now we probably do Yulon for protection. Yeah, he has two greens, so I like Yulon here. That situation, if you had either item one or two, is locked dies without moving. Huh. Yeah, for Nefarian, yep. Yeah, the heal has been nice. So here... I think I want to taunt to protect against the elemental. This can kill the elemental. Or no, it'll take eight. How much is this? Also eight. Should probably heal the Neff. Do it like this. Pop the Jaina.
Jaina gets popped. Right, the heal comes in pretty clutch there. Now we can snipe the Jaina. Give ourselves some more health. And then just smack in. Job done. Yeah, I kind of like this. Meteor, okay. Oh, we live at one! Holy. Job done. Wow. These games have been nuts. Here we go. Oh, we... Oh, we... Oh, Valyra can't... Uh, what's it called? Yeah, no cookies, so we're fine. Reed speed tie anxiety. They have a favored, uh, they have two threes. We still take it though. Actually, I think I'm gonna enveloping mist here. No, that's greedy. Because this is weak. Let's just get the damage on the Valera. Oh wow, we won it. Oh, see you later, Rag. Oh my god. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call skill. <laughs> Can we get some pogfish in the chat? That's deserving of a pogfish. That is hilarious. Oh my. We can literally delete Varden. Wow. Easiest game of our life. Nice snap. <laughs> Crazy, dude. What a game. Necroz. Okay, so it's the dragon guy. I mean, we've been doing fine against them. But since we know it's dragons, maybe we want to lead you instead. Because our Sinestra got deleted last time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Let's try that. Let's try it. Or 5v6, yeah. They have skins again. I wonder if they're playing two different versions, and that's why. So we don't attack on turn one here to avoid getting deleted by the Yulon. Right? 
I guess we do this in case they attack. Place Alex with Deathwing and he's the third item for the memes. Interesting, okay. So all the dragons are slow here, so we could stack sixes and try and kill this. Oh yeah, use an F first. But well, Drake dying isn't bad because that heals us. I think that's fine. It's really just about what do we want to do on Yulon? Do we want the... Do we want the Jade Flame or do we just want to go for damage? I think we'll take the Jade Flame. Oh no! Wait. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you check your opponent's equipment. <laughs> On... Look at that. That's funny. Well. <laughs> yeah, we're getting clowned out here. <laughs> Except I think it's fine, like, unironically. Job done. Like, I think they're the ones about to be clowned. We'll see, though. They can't steal my summons if I don't make summons. Why did the summon attack him, though? Like, it still attacks even if it's swapped? It's very strange. Now we Shadow Flame. Yeah, he's trying to counter me. I don't even know if it's it's like doing what he wants it to do though. Like we just don't have to attack directly, right? This is fine. Seems fine. Such a weird match. Well, now we know why their skins swapped. They probably have a different version of the comp with this equipment. I can't lie, that's pretty funny. Classic Mercenary's Ladder. Ooh, that hurt. That was not super cool. Probably just sin. Make him big and then start blowing stuff up next turn. They're going to deal a lot with these tokens dying is the annoying part, but we have protection with Yulon, so maybe it's okay. It won't be quite as much. I mean, still, cool. Uh, I, I forgot that the fell equipment has that effect. Maybe you could get something going with Nefarian and... Or not Nefarian, uh... What's-his-face and Deathwing. If dragons become popular. The fell damage one, Rathian.
Lucky Salmon, thank you for the follow. What is happening? <laughs> Good lord. We're pretty ahead though. <laughs> Who's getting clowned on now, son? I mean, I think we just kill Yulon here. What did... That was 25 damage, repeat. I guess we kill this. Or no, it gets to attack first. Or no, yes. So we heal then, maybe. This is fine, screw it. Oh, the Zeddy shout out, thank you. Yeah, Zeddy's super cool dude. I really appreciate the uh, the love he's shown me. I'm excited to watch him in the, uh, he's gonna be a part of the, the wild uh, preview season thing, which is awesome. I was happy to see that. All right, you guys ready to see like the world's biggest Nefarian? <laughs> Sinestra heals. <laughs> Look at it! Look at it! 325-105. The biggest dragon you've ever seen. <laughs> this is the Voon Comp Blue Train. Yahweh actually made this comp, yeah. All right, so let me explain what just happened there for those who haven't seen this before. So there's currently a bug where, um, yeah, <laughs> no, this build's awesome, Yahweh. Great stuff, really good stuff. Thank you for sharing it. This has been really fun. This is probably next to the Leroy deck. This is like the most fun I've had all night. Um, so what happened there is there's currently a bug, Nefarian. He has an ability that lets him steal attack from dragons. That's enemy and friendly dragons. However, um, normally it's only supposed to steal five attack from each. But if it gets a dragon down to zero attack, or if it steals from a dragon with zero attack, the multiplier gets totally screwed up. And it gives it way more attack than it should. Um, so yeah, thickest Nefarian you've ever seen right there. <laughs> Wow. I'm pretty impressed, not gonna lie. I'm pretty impressed. He's not a meme. Like, I thought he was a meme. I really thought he was a meme, but he's he's been incredible. He's, like, actually been incredible. Okay, cool. Something a little different. Neat. Can hit this through the taunt. We'll try and hit it. Definitely gonna taunt here to protect it. That's okay though. Triple green opener is spooky. I, I didn't think it was gonna work as well as it does. Sometimes you can swap it up. Like last game, we knew we were running into dragons, so we kept Sinestra on the bench and we led uh, Yulon. This one actually has Alex. I haven't actually gotten to play with Alex a whole ton. She she only came out in one game. We've just been destroying people with this. Yahweh is the one who built this deck. I shared it on Twitter. And uh, they had a good record with it. So far, we're undefeated with it. Yeah, I thought that as well, but apparently Alex is pretty good at dealing with Sinestra at the end, and I could definitely see that. Yeah, so they taunt up. Okay. Luckily, they're red here. Cornelius doesn't really threaten our guys very much. Like, look how much damage Voon is doing here. It's so much damage. 
And now we we can just like delete them with this. Basically. Cause this will deal I guess they can heal or they can go for the protection here, so we probably just drag in here. We save this for next turn. This will bump through that. And then we can just attack or heal. Ah, you had Deathwing in before, but you don't have him leveled up yet. I can see I can see the logic with Alex though. Both worth a shot. I think we want to just get another dragon. <laughs> That's a lot of Voon coins. Yeah, you might as well. You have more than enough to max Voon than Blue Chain. You just have to get his, uh... You just have to get his Task 7. So that shouldn't take very long. This is why we're running Voon, by the way. Look at that. It's disgusting. I should have reordered, but it's okay. If Rogers comes in, we are about to be the saddest of pandas. Oh, lordy. Alright. Well, we take the flip here. Oh, uh, Vol'jin can just AoE us before we even get a chance to do the flip, though. But then their Diablo isn't good. So, I actually think we're just going to swing. This Diablo is going to be giant, but we have two reds in the back, so it's whatever. Ah, uh, it's three speeds, so it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be another flip, because they have two speed. I'll heal him in case he does something weird, but... Yeah, they're, they're just playing it safe, which is, which is smart. Okay, well, that was less smart. <laughs> now their blues are gone. Sylvanas coming in for sure. Alex time, right? Yeah. <laughs> we got him! We got him! What a comp, dude. 5-0? and oh? Ray Ray. Three greens, eh? Hmm. Valera, Belinda. Oh, probably a mirror? Okay. So if it's a mirror, we probably want Yulon out again over Sinestra, I think. So, Neff, Voon, Yulon. Worked pretty well last time. Okay. A fellow Voon gamer. Yep, good call. Check Deathwing gear. Oh, we can swing too, because they don't... For some reason I see Red Dragon, I'm like, oh, can't swing. No, it's, it's fine to swing. They could taunt, but... Do we really care if they taunt? Not really. Job done. Yeah, I think we will out sustain.
Because now we can heal. We go for the kill here. Job's done. Or do we Shadow Flame? And save this for next turn. I actually kind of like Shadow Flame. This wound could. Oh, you're right. You're right. Hmm. Oh no, but it won't kill it if uh, with Jade Flame, right? Yes. So it'll live because of Jade Flame. Let's see. Yeah, I'm trying this. Haha, <laughs> baited. See you, Nefarian. Nice knowing you. Alright, Arvun's dead now, though, but that's okay. Now Sinestra comes in. This is a big Deathwing. Yeah, maybe I can't. I can't get Sinestra in here. Maybe we just Alex. Yeah, Yulon is awesome, and I love Yulon. Probably just sent or Alex, yeah. Do, do, do. The only small... Oh, my positioning here is terrible. I really need to think about positioning more. Oh, we have this, though. Yeah, it's so small. <laughs> I mean, maybe we try and do this. Taunt. Actually, I probably don't want to heal this because it's just going to get zapped. Yeah, he might swap Deathwing. That's true, too. Well, we'll play around the swap. Nope, no swap. Oh, we live. Ain't that sweet. Prove. Well, now it's Sinestra time. They might swap. So, do we play around the swap then? Yeah, we do. We will play around the swap. Yeah, I think we have it either way here. We'll see. A lot of dragons on tonight, though. That's cool. It's my kind of, uh... These are my kind of mercenaries games. Yep. 
played around the swap. Get swapped, son. Oh yeah, his heal me as well, huh? Passive after a dragon dies. I didn't even think about that, to be honest. Job's done. We're gonna have such a giant long gin if, if it gets in here. It's gonna be really funny. So I will fully admit I underestimated this equipment. It's actually pretty great. Oh yeah, I guess there haven't been that many. It'll still be big enough. Look at that large Sinestra. Oh, and they swung into it. Omega lull, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Bye-bye. Damn. Can't stop, won't stop, right? Jeez. All right, so we had some great games with this on stream the other day. Ended up going 7-1 and one for my final record. It just felt really strong. You know, I, I really wasn't sure Boone was going to live up to the hype here. But he actually more than lived up to it. He really delivered, and I think there's a very good chance he does end up seeing a fair amount of play in this meta if uh, these dragon builds are as good as they seem. And so far, I'm pretty convinced. I, I really like it. There's The one thing about these dragon comps is they are by far, in my opinion, some of the hardest comps to play 100% optimally. Mercenaries is a game where you know some of the comps... Play themselves a little bit sometimes but other ones especially the dragon builds there's so many choices you have to make and i really enjoy kind of the player agency that provides and feels like there's always something new to learn which i really enjoy and cool kind of synergistic actions that are a lot of fun so hopefully we can see more of that from other tribes in the future but for now you can definitely expect more dragon comps from me because i've been having a ton of fun trying them out again shout out to Yahweh for this build really enjoyed it definitely a very creative build that I would not have thought to come up with anytime soon so hopefully you enjoyed it if you did do remember to like and subscribe and give this deck a shot you know if you if you have uh have these dragons leveled up you'll notice you know the only new dragon here actually is Nefarian so this could be a good comp where if you don't have all the new dragons leveled yet, you could just focus Nefarian, maybe get Boon up if you haven't already, and then the rest is kind of a similar base to the previous dragon deck with just the addition of Alex Straza. So definitely give it a shot. It's a lot of fun, and I think it will be showing up on ladder definitely more often in the coming days and weeks. But thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.